Well, hello, welcome to another Vlogmas. Let's start the day with a butt pillow. What is a butt pillow, you say? I'm glad you asked. It's pretty much what I sit on when I sit on the float. So today I have this huge package from my friend in Japan, Sachi, and we've known each other since I was pretty much in high school. She came here as an exchange student and we just bumped into each other and it clicked right away. Fast forward today, she has two beautiful daughters. We have Nana-chan and Momo-chan. And I love these girls so much. Throughout the year, we send each other goodies, comfort food and junk food from, uh, you know, from Canada and Japan, because that's usually the first thing people miss when they go somewhere and then they come back. Let me know in the comments below, what is one item that you've had either in your childhood or when you traveled and when you came back and you're, or as an adult, you're like, you know what? I really miss that because I know one of the first things I miss from Egypt are usually comfort foods. For me, that would be grape leaves. Luckily, I know how to cook them too. I avoided looking at the description of this box because I want it to be a surprise. So let's open it up. Struggle. And here's the inside of the box. I love that it's blue. <gasps> oh, I love the... Okay, hang on. Jackie, calm down. Ooh, this one's for me. This one's for Patrick. I don't know if I should open it. Maybe I'll text her and ask her if she wants me to open it. All right, so while I wait for her message to let me know if she wants me to open it now or if I can leave it under the Christmas tree, this here, if you get a chance to have this, these are delicious. Think of little brownie bites that we have in North America. I don't think they're called brownie bites. The little ones like that. I'll put a picture of them here. It's pretty much the same thing except a lot less sweeter so it has less of that synthetic flavor to it. I really love these. I don't know if they're exclusively in Japan but I've only ever seen them in Japan but they do have an yeah maybe. I mean they have the name Fujiya so my guess is that they just adopted a, an English name. You know I guess I have to try it. It's just for you girls right? I'll sacrifice myself. <laughs> So we have both the chocolate version and then we have the white chocolate version. These are dangerous. I mean, they are dangerously delicious. Um, yeah. So here's the cookie. When we break inside, by the way, it's a really soft cookie. Look at that. And it's a brownie. It just smells like a brownie. It is a lot less sugary and... Mm. Oh, so good. By the way, if you're new here, welcome to my vlog channel, Nerdy Jackie. My main channel is Nerdy Crafter, so make sure that you go on Nerdy Crafter as my main channel. I will not be uploading Vlogmas videos on this channel when I upload on my main channel. So Tuesdays and Fridays, go on over to my main channel, and then all the other days, Vlogmas videos will be here. All right, putting my hand in randomly. Next. Oh, what is that? So we have some matcha flavored cookies. Oh wow, that smells very green tea-ish. So this is what it looks like. It almost looks like an arrow. Oh wow, mmm! Wow, it has this texture of a Cheeto, not the flavor. The texture of a Cheeto, but with green tea flavor. That is really delicious. Oh my god, that's probably one of my new favorites now. And then we have... <gasps> If you get a chance to get this ramen, it is the best ramen I have ever had. So instant noodles in Japan are very, let me put it down, <laughs> are very differently flavored than the ones in North America. I absolutely hate instant ramen in North America just because they have like this synthetic weird flavor to them. Whereas in Japan, the actual instant ramen tastes as close as possible to the ones you can get in the shops. So the pork base is kind of creamy with flavors like sesame seed and spicy and just so delicious. So honestly, pick these up if you get a chance. And then choco chip, that looks cute. So we have choco chips cookie and I don't think I've ever had this one before and it's so cute. Look at that, it has a little bear. I'm gonna try everything out. Usually I don't like starting my day off with sweets, but I'm gonna make an exception. And of course, Japan being really huge on packing everything individually for freshness sake. I know some of you might say that's too much wrapping and too much plastic. I agree with you. Japan tends to wrap everything individually. However, big comma, Japan is probably one of the best countries when it comes to recycling and reducing their waste. They have so many days for different kinds of recycling and, and garbage and, and all that stuff, and they take it really seriously. And, oh wow, 
That smells like Chips Ahoy. I remember sniffing the Chips Ahoy as a kid. I put my nose into everything. It has this nostalgic smell for me. I haven't had Chips Ahoy in years and it's really convenient because it comes in a two-pack. So when you're having a coffee or tea, you can just take one of these out. Now the question is, is it soft or hard? And mmm. Oh, that is good. So it is a hard cookie and the cookie itself is almost not sweet at all. It has this nice, rich, deep cocoa flavor and then the sweetness and bitterness, perfect balance comes in to the actual chocolate chip cookie. Wow, that is delicious. And then we have this wafery matcha, I believe it's matcha. <gasps> it's green tea and red bean flavor. I like these little wafers. I'm not going to open it, but you can imagine it's like this thin wafer with flavor right on top. And then pretz. Pretz is a savory type hockey. It's actually pronounced hockey in Japan. In, in Japan, it's pokey. So it's a savory version and this is, I believe, salad flavor. I love this. And then, oh, two boxes with the same size and yes, Pat loves these. What's this? Oh, maple flavored cookie. That is really cool. I haven't tried this one. And then we have the chocolate one, which I've tried and I absolutely love. Let's try the maple one. I'm kind of a maple snob because Canadian. We pride ourselves on our maple flavors. Enjoy the superb taste of chocolate and biscuit made with the finest ingredients. For one of the rare times, it's not English number one. That's good to know. <laughs> Sometimes packaging in Japan has English number one moments. Oh, oh, that is very sugary. Oh, this, this cookie is taking me on a roller coaster of emotion. So I thought the cookie was wrapped in the chocolate, but no, the cookie is there and the flavored chocolate is right on top. That is a concept I don't think I remember. Thought I tried these before, but I guess not. So let's try. So it does have some maple flavor idea in there, but it's mostly the sweetness of the white chocolate as opposed to the maple. It's good though, probably good with some coffee or tea to balance out the sweetness. Next we have, what is this? Mm. Wasabi mayo, is that a cracker? What? Okay, so we have a wasabi mayo cracker. Let's try it out. Oh wow, that really does smell like wasabi and mayonnaise. Let me know, when you have sushi, do you put any wasabi on there or do you entirely skip it? Or do you prefer the ginger? This is what the cookie looks like. Looks like a regular rice cracker and mm, oh yes, mm -hmm, yep. The wasabi is not that strong. The feeling of the wasabi is there. So it almost hits your mouth, but then it disappears. It's like, I'm gonna fight you, but not. This is really good. And Pat can have from this because he's not very gluten tolerant. So he can have a rice cracker. Okay, that is cute. <laughs> she sent me some milk tea flavored candies, which I remember her having in the car when we were hanging out the other time. And she gave it to the kids and she's like, do you want one? I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll have one. I put it in my mouth, I'm like, <gasps> Milk tea. So if you've ever had bubble tea or boba for those of you who have it anywhere else If you've had that it pretty much tastes like classic boba tea Green tea Kit Kats and I think these are the premium ones too I believe because of the wrapping that this is like the premium super rich green tea I'm not going to open these because I know exactly what they taste like. They're very nice and rich Oh, I, I kind of got a sneak peek of something here. This is yaki soba wasabi So we have wasabi flavor. She found it. Sachi, thank you so much I was looking for this everywhere and it's so hard to find sometimes but this is wasabi mayo flavored yakisoba, which is kind of like their version of, I guess like sweet barbecue type. It's hard to explain. If you've never had yakisoba, don't buy it in North America. Cause when I saw in North American grocery stores, yakisoba, I picked up a pack. I'm like, earn me, Garrett, finally we can have yakisoba, but it just tastes like North American ramen with dried powder, not the same thing. Here's what yakisoba actually looks like. And it's a kind of comfort and street food as well. And yeah, I guess I'm having this tonight. Truth? Truffy? Bourbon high chocolate 30th anniversary. It looks like truffles individually wrapped. What? I want to try that. And oh, that smells rich. Classic Japan. Everything is individually wrapped for freshness purposes. And mm. One of my favorite things and not so favorite things about truffles is that they are absolutely decadent, but you can't help but say that they kind of look like little turd balls. I'm putting it out there. That's what they look like. But let's taste this one. 
Oh, it's not as soft as I thought it would be. And now it is. So the flavor for that one kind of starts a little bit more bitter. And the more you chew it, the more melty it gets. And then it has like this sweet aftertaste that lingers. So I can't see myself eating more than two because it is really sweet. Ooh, My Hero Academia pamphlets. What? They have a road show? Is that for the new movie? Yes. So yeah, I, I know that there's a new My Hero Academia movie and I absolutely want it. So I just hope we don't have to wait as long in North America to see it. Fingers crossed. And <laughs> we have the Caplico kind of, it's like an ice cream cone, but with a strawberry arrow from top all the way to bottom. I'm not going to open this, but I'll post a picture of what it looks like because this is really delicious. This is usually perfect as a dessert to end a long week. So I'm going to save this for later. All right, I'm taking a quick peek at the box. It doesn't seem like there's any sweets left, but there's still quite a few things here. I'm turning the box. I don't want to miss out on the surprise, so I'm going to put my hand in there. And oh, that is so cute. We get a coin purse of Komimi Zook. I actually don't know this character. That is really cute. In Japan, still a lot of money as opposed to cards. A lot of us here in North America use either our debit or visa cards, mostly plastic. But in Japan, using cash is still a huge, huge thing. Perfect place to put your coins. That is adorable. That is so cute. Thank you, Sachi. Okay, I'm, I'm looking unimpressed right now because... When I'm in Japan, for some reason, I don't know why, but Japanese shampoo agrees with my hair. My hair looks pretty decent. So every single time I'm there, I want to buy shampoo. Sometimes I forget to buy it, but I did bring some with me. But this particular shampoo brand, Este Royer is perfect on my hair. When I used that shampoo, I couldn't believe how poofy my flat hair became, which was really amazing because I find North American shampoo weighs down my hair. So I ended up buying my shampoo from Japan. I don't know what they do differently, but by heck, thank you so much, Sachi, for sending me some of those Japanese shampoos. They are the best. And then Disney, yes. So my friend went to Disney with her family recently. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Look at that. We have a snack bag closing. At, what, what is this called? A sealer. A snack bag sealer. That is really cute. And I bet they look like the rice crackers on the inside of this pack. The shading and the work is beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And it even feels, the texture on there feels like a rice cracker. Love this. And here we have the map of the Disney park, I believe, the one in Tokyo. I went to Disney Sea in Tokyo, which is only in Tokyo. I'll leave some B-roll for you grains to see. And I thought it was fun, but it was more thematic. So think of Disney Sea as more geared towards an adult audience. It had these gorgeous things to see, but not so much focused focused on rides. All right, and oh, is that like dango type sweet barbecue? Mmm, oh, it's so good. Mm, oh yeah. And every time I talk about sweet barbecue, it is nowhere near the flavor of North American. It's interesting because I really did grow up with North American snacks and I never really liked them as much. And then when I started eating more Asian snacks, which had a completely different flavor profile, I was like, that's the flavor profile I prefer. So I would say that this cracker, the heart-shaped one, really tastes like a sweet soy sauce and kind of like a little bit of a barbecue-y aftertaste, maybe less of a barbecue and maybe a little bit more charred. I haven't tried this one, so let's try the Mickey Mouse head. Mm, plain rice cracker, lightly salted, absolutely delicious. Another little baggie from Tokyo Disney and oh! <laughs> oh no, that is so cute! A ramen bowl with little Mickey themed Naruto down here and the bowl. And the little scoopy spoon that comes in there also has Mickey. So every time she goes to Disney, which is one of her favorite places, she gets me one of these little keychain things and I decorate my bag with it. So if ever you're at like Comic-Con or anything like that and you hear a person walking and their bag is doing this, that's me, because I have so many of these on my bag. So you'll probably hear me before you see me because I'm so short. I think we're getting back into snacks now. Yes! Let me show you. Wow, Jackie, good job. So I dropped them everywhere, but I guess we can take one at least. These are kind of like large Cheetos in terms of texture, but the flavor on this here, which is like a premium cheese, brie flavor. Cheetos for grown-ups. 
for a more refined palette. Those of you who've sniffed Brie, you know exactly what it smells like, so don't sniff Brie. <laughs> but in terms of flavor, it is a kind of elevated cheese flavor. So you can see what I mean when I say that it's cheeto e. Yes! Oh my god! We have Japanese gummies, which we call gummies in Japan. I've had the peach one, I absolutely love it. I've had the grape one, I absolutely love it. I've never had the orange one, so I have to try it. Last time I was in Egypt, I remember the fruits tasting so sweet. But in North America, every time I try to grab fruits, I would say the majority of time, fruits here taste like cucumber. Almost every fruit, it's lacking so much flavor. So more often than not, I just don't eat fruits in North America, except for bananas. Bananas are, it's hard to get bananas raw. Oh wow! But again, in Japan, fruits are sweet. They're so melty. It's like very honey and sugary and it tastes like how I remember fruits tasting as a kid. Oh wow! This smells like such a sweet orange. And it just looks like gummies on the inside. Here's a close-up and mmm, yep, mm hmm Oh wow! The flavor of like that real orange flavor really hits you the second you take like your third or fourth chew. So if you like this really strong orange flavor, this is the right one. You know how when you peel an orange, you can smell it? That's how it tastes like. Why am I doing this? I don't know. She also sent a capsule toy. I can't tell from the outside what capsule toy it is, but I'm going to guess maybe from Disney. And if it's not from Disney, my guess is like it's probably cat themed. It is cat themed, so I'm not quite sure what it is. Let me put it together. <gasps> no! Oh, that is so cute! So it's kind of like from the convenience store collection of like kitty things. Let's see which one we got. All right, Ermi, good. What the heck? I love little capsule toys from Japan. This one here is specifically a lunch box set that you would have bought from a convenience store. There's this little rice with a cute little piece of salmon inside a lunchbox that is a kitty head. Then there's like this little container of chicken nuggets. It says nugget with chicken right on top, but the shape of the nuggets are actually cats. How cute is that? And we have a little fork, also themed. And then we have our chopsticks that look like it's in a wrapper. How cool is that? And we get three little kitty coins. Japan, I love you for that. And there's a little plastic bag too. And you could probably put everything in that plastic bag because it's Japan. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open this because for her right now, it's in the middle of the night. And when she likes to send surprises or give me surprises, usually she wants me to open it ASAP. So I'm gonna open mine. I'm gonna let Pat open his. I am so excited. She's always so sweet. Sachi, I love you so much. I have no idea what's in there. What is that? Oh my gosh, is that Ramsey's? That's gotta be Ramsey's. Okay, that looks like Ramsey's. Where did she get this picture from? Okay, let's let's open it. This is a custom bag. Oh my gosh, Sachi. That's Ramsey's. <gasps> That's my cat. That is adorable. How did you get that? And it has little ears on there. That is so cute. Oh, Ramsey's is my big chonker. You you grains have been calling him the chonker. Yeah, that that chubby kitty right there. Oh my god. Gosh, I love it so much. Thank you so much, Sachi. This is some good handwork. I really suck at sewing, so I appreciate it. And even the inside, the quality is beautiful. It is really good quality. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. And that's pretty much it for this package. There's so much stuff, and I have it right in front of me. It's a huge mess. What are you gonna do about it? Come here and fight me. <laughs> If you haven't seen the previous vlogmases, make sure you check them up here. I've compiled a playlist in case you've missed any. And otherwise, there's other vlogs too that I've posted, especially the ones from my trip to Japan, if you're interested. See you guys in the next video.